So before I start this video, I just wanna know how you guys are liking my unboxing laptop videos, or would you rather me just shut up and get straight to the review? Because I find that it gives me the opportunity to give you an overview of the laptop, then I can collect your questions and then tailor it to a proper review. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys prefer. With that being said, I do have a new laptop here. It's the Oris 15G. This one's kind of special because it has a mechanical keyboard. And if you've ever used one, you know how much more enjoyable it is to type on and how much better it is for gaming. The problem with gaming laptops today is that they're getting thinner and thinner. And what manufacturers are doing is reducing the key press of the keyboard. So you have these soft, short tactile keys that don't feel as responsive as a desktop keyboard. I'm not sure Shut up, Siri. Now to incorporate a mechanical keyboard, you have to put it in a thicker chassis. Not that this chassis is thick, it's just that gaming laptops are getting real thin and having 2.5 millimeters of travel distance is a tough thing to do in thin laptops. It's a good size. Like I don't feel like this laptop is too big and being able to type on 2.5 millimeters of travel is so nice. I wish we had more laptops that utilized this key travel. The downfall to these keys though, the Omron switches, is that they're super loud. Like if you're in class and you're typing up notes in grade one math, the dude next to you is probably gonna punch you in the face. In typical gigabyte fashion, you do have a full size keyboard. You have the numeric keypad. I don't like the way it looks because they've crammed everything together and it just makes the keyboard look a little bit busy. But if you want everything in a laptop with a full size keyboard, Gigabyte has done that for you. Now you do have full RGB, so you can customize each key to whatever color you want, which is great. And you do have a good key size. Like all the keys are pretty much the same size. You have the ability to open up the laptop with one hand as Gigabyte has put a little indent on the bottom, very similar to the MacBook, to allow you to open up the laptop. Sticker placement! Gigabyte's guy, he's on the move. He's like, you listen, Nvidia, AMD, don't put your stickers on my laptop. We're just gonna do an Intel sticker and call it a day. Unfortunately, we do have a nose cam on the bottom, so it will be sticking up into your nose as you're using this laptop, but it's there in case you need it. This display is a bit wobbly. Like when you open this up, it's gonna wobble. Like this is not a very stiff display. The hinge feels stiff, like it's not gonna break on you, but out of all the gaming laptops I've tested recently, this one's a bit more wobbly than usual. And you have a fingerprint scanner on the touchpad to log you in. It's not a big touchpad, but this is a gaming laptop. Most of you are gonna be using external mice, but it is glass and it does feel very accurate to use. In terms of ports, on the left-hand side, you have a full-size HDMI port, mini display port, USB, audio jack, RJ45. On the right-hand side, you have your barrel connector, SD card slot, Thunderbolt 3 port and two more USB ports. So the bottom of the laptop has these huge grills for heat to dissipate and you also have two speakers that hit the table. Here's a comparison against the HP Omen 15. You guys let me know which one sounds better. Now this display is 1080p, it's full HD, it has good color accuracy and a lower response time. It's also 240 hertz. So gameplay on this should feel nice and smooth. Performance, this thing's a beast. RTX 2070 Super Max-Q paired with an eight core i7 10th gen Intel processor. I'm gonna put it through its pacing. I'm gonna test out fan noise. I'm gonna test out thermals, but on paper, this thing should absolutely dominate most games with settings set to high. Because it's using that eight core CPU, you're gonna be also be able to do a lot of content creation or any sort of intensive application that can utilize a lot of cores. Internally, all the standard stuff is upgradable. Two slots for RAM, upgradable is 64. We have one drive, it's a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And if you need more storage, there is a second slot on the bottom left-hand side. Thankfully, they left a big battery inside of here, 94 watt hours. Gigabyte says it's gonna last you seven to eight, but obviously I'm gonna test that out in my full review. Cooling solution looks fantastic, which we'll talk about thermals in my next video. And the Wi-Fi card 
is also swappable. So if down the road, if this fails on you or if you want something different, you can swap this one out. So here's the thing. I really dig the idea of having a mechanical keyboard on a laptop. In fact, I want more laptops to incorporate Omron switches or quieter versions of it because at the end of the day, the keyboard is what you're interacting with the most. You're typing on it, you're using it to play games, you're using the, the arrow keys to, to move around the screen. It's, it's, your, it's your touch point to most laptops. I know there's a lot of touch displays, but at the end of the day, how often are you touching a Windows display? It's not as often as you are typing. Now, as usual, this is just an overview. I will be doing a full review. And if there's any questions about this laptop you want answered, Now's the time to drop them in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed these unboxings. If you want more of them, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.